Now that we've gotten over that Memorial Day hump, it is unofficially summertime and a lot of kids are heading to the pool and obviously swimming is a lot of fun for people of all ages. But water safety is still very important to remember. La Petite Belline Swim School is bringing it all together with a big event called the world's largest swimming lesson. And here to tell us all about it is Director of Marketing Paige Henderson. Thanks for joining us today. Tell us a little bit about the importance of water safety. Sure. So in the United States, drowning is the leading cause of injury death for children between the ages of one to four. So getting them into swimming lessons early is very important to help reduce that risk of drowning. Regular weekly swimming lessons can reduce the risk of drowning by up to 88%. So we encourage early weekly year round swimming lessons until the child is water competent. Okay, uh, that is a that is a lot of lessons. How much does it take for a, a kid to you know have you pass the threshold of being a real danger in the water? Every child is different. Um, we start our lessons as early as two months old. We actually offer free swimming lessons to infants between the ages of two to five months, just to really encourage families to get into swimming lessons early. The American Academy of Pediatrics encourages that children stay in swimming lessons until they are competent in the water. And for every child, that's going to be different. Okay, that makes sense. You know, starting as early as two months, it's so young. I mean, can a kid like that grasp anything? Is you know, what what are the benefits of getting them started that early? Sure. Uh, so. Babies can actually learn to hold their breath before they're submerging. Um, the parent is in the water with them. So in every lesson at La Petite Belline, we are building in safety skills. We are educating parents about water safety, how to be safe around water. And by the time that that child is able to walk or crawl, they are able to swim short distances, they're able to hold their breath. We're teaching them how to climb out of the water if they fall in. So a lot of safety skills, getting them um, good breath, breath control in the water, but most importantly, having them just be really comfortable in the water. It sounds like it could be a lot of fun for uh, the parent and kids too, a little bonding experience. It is, it's a lot of fun. Um, after our free introductory program that we have for infants, most families end up staying because it is so much fun. I could see that. I could see that. So beyond swimming lessons, what else do you want people to understand about safety around the water? Sure. So swimming lessons is key to it's one really important factor in keeping children safe. Um, again, swimming lessons can reduce the risk of drowning by 88 percent, but there are multiple layers involved in keeping children safe around water, that being constant adult supervision letting children know that no one can swim alone. Um, when a child is swimming, that you always have a designated water watcher, knowing CPR as an adult or caregiver, having an emergency response plan if anything were to happen, um, and also knowing things like if you're at a lake or a beach or a river that you should be wearing a life vest um, and that swimming in moving water is gonna be very different than swimming in a swimming pool. Oh, certainly. They, you know, say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but uh, if you, you didn't get started earlier with the swimming lessons, uh, you know, what, what ages would you teach somebody to swim? Uh, at La Petite Bling, we teach all ages, so as early as two months, all the way up through adults. But we definitely encourage getting your children in as soon as possible. Um, it's going to be great for the child to learn that the older they get the more fearful they can become of water. Um, and it can be a little bit more challenging to teach someone who's older and has a lot more fear instilled in them um, about learning to uh, swim. So the earlier, the better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once that panic sets in, I'm sure that, that that's a, a dangerous factor when it comes to trouble in the water. It can, yeah. So if a child is relaxed and um, feels more comfortable in the water and they have skill sets that they've learned in swim class at a very early age, like climbing out of the pool, learning to float on their back. Um, they're going to be uh, a lot safer and by themselves a little bit extra time if there was to be an accident where they fell in. Yeah. 
just having those instincts. Um, tell, tell us about the, the, this plan, the world's largest swim lesson. So this is really fun. This is um, a global event that happens every year. And this is swim facilities and aquatic centers from all over that come together on one day, June 23rd. Um, we'll be hosting this at two of our four Bay Area locations. Um, and all of these swim centers are gonna be teaching the exact same lesson plan for 30 minutes. And it's to raise awareness about water safety and the importance of swimming lessons. So 30 minutes, I mean, is that enough to, you know, take something away from this? Yeah, so our lessons are 30 minutes and it's once a week. Children learn best through repetition and through fun. So we really promote that 30 minute uh, once a week year round swimming lesson. Okay, and uh, if people want to sign up for the world's largest swimming lesson. Uh, what, what should they do? What do you need to, to do in advance? Uh, so it's open to our students. So if you guys want to sign up for a swimming class, we open, we have four locations in the Bay Area and we have a free trial uh, to get enrolled. And then from there, our students are able to join the, the event. And what would you tell people who are just, you know, a little intimidated about getting in the water or also going to learn a, a new skill at, at this point in life? Uh, it, the fear around it is pretty common. Um, we have a lot of parents who didn't grow up having swimming lessons. So they themselves can feel really nervous about their child starting lessons or even going into the water if their child is a baby or toddler. Um, we really reassure them that this is safe and it's fun and our teachers are there to help support them and guide them and educate them and just make sure that it's a really great experience for everyone involved. Well, thanks a lot for that information, Paige. To find out more about the world's largest swim lesson happening on June 23rd, visit WLSL.org. And for more information about La Petite Baleine Swim Program, go to their website, swimlpb.com.